Hello everybody, this is Junaid from The Finance Pro and after so many requests, I have finally decided to spend some time out to create some videos on financial modeling. So what is financial modeling? Well, financial modeling is a task of building a numerical representation of the real world financial situation. Thanks to Excel, it has become very easy today. It's just a mathematical model designed to represent performance of a project business, company, or any investment. Can be also used to measure the impact of performance by simulating multiple scenarios. Therefore, it can be useful in decision-making purposes. For example, whether we should invest in a company or a project or not, or whether we should declare dividends or plan to obtain loans from banks in the future. While there are many types of financial models, ranging from LBO to merger and acquisitions and etc. For this video course, we will be focusing on just the two basic ones. The three statement financial model, that is the profit and loss, the balance sheet and the cash flow, and the discounted cash flows, where we will use IRR and NPV to calculate uh, the returns on the project and decide whether we should invest or not. Now, your financial model should be fast. Well, not literally, but, well, yes, literally. There are fast standards that you can download and follow for your financial model, but, well, that's a topic for another day. But quickly speaking, your model should be flexible. That is, by flexible, it means expandable. For example, you make a model for three years, and you want to expand the same model to five years or ten years. So that model should be easily expandable. Plus, the output in, should be in the form that enables you to quickly make necessary computations for analysis like sensitivity, NPV, or IRR. Next, A stands for appropriate. Well, um, appropriate pertains to assumptions. Your model is as good as the assumptions. So they should be reasonable and realistic. S stands for structure. Your model should be consistent and easy to navigate. You should have different worksheets for different workings and calculations. Also, all the sheets should have standard templates so the output can be easily reviewed by the audience or the user. T stands for transparent. Your model should use easy to understand formulas. Formulas should not be complex. And if there are complex formulas, you should break them down into different cells for them to be understandable by everyone. Let's quickly review the best practices before we move on to the next video. One row, one formula. No hard-coded numbers in formula. A standard template for all the sheets. Avoiding complex formulas. There should be a separate a single assumption sheet where you can input all these assumptions and through one place you can control the entire financial model. Now in the next video we will focus on starting with the basics that is the templates. So stay tuned.